This video will teach you how to complete the first storyline. Some of the strategies used in this video are a little bit more advanced, so if you don't complete them, that's okay. It just makes the process a little bit faster. When you finish the tutorial and start playing Sneaky Sasquatch, you will find the story revolves around finding nine map pieces that lead to a buried treasure to save the park. For this story, you will need the flashlight, the skis, the canoe paddle, the fishing rod, the pro golf club, and the campground map. You will also need the camber disguise or optionally the sawmill disguise. Most of these items are used in their own unique mini games, which allow you to get map pieces. For example, the flashlight allows you to explore a cave to find a map piece. And the pro golf club allows you to outplay a pro golfer for a map piece. However, there are some items that do cost money, so the order you get them in will be important. The first item to get is the campground map, which can be obtained through selling food from the first campsite to bear. The second item to get is the disguise. The disguise in Raccoon's shop costs a significant amount of coins as a beginner. Luckily, as long as you have one coin, you can find a payphone in Campsite D by the ranger's house and use it to call six numbers on the free money hotline. 1826726, 376-7278, 3776-7278, 4482763, and 9827365. If you want to buy the camper disguise, then teleport home, buy the disguise, and sleep. If you want to get the free disguise from the sawmill, you'll need to steal a go-kart from the racetracks and drive on the right highway until you see the sawmill. Steal the key from the old trailer and tiptoe into the office to steal the disguise from the third cabinet. At this point, if you've decided to get the disguise from the raccoon, you want to go through the cutscene and then take the bus to Ski Mountain. If you stole them, if you stole the sawmill disguise, then use the go-kart to make your way to Ski Mountain. The fourth item is to get the skis. The skis are found both in the raccoon's shop and in the Ski Mountain. Now that you have the skis, go to the ski events and do the tutorial. Once complete, Challenge the pro skier who is always by the ski shop. I recommend doing a flip and a half spin whenever possible, as this has allowed me to win every time. When you win, he will give you a map piece. The next step will help you and allow you to have extra money for the second storyline, but you can skip it if you only want to focus on this first storyline. The tip is to get a secret cache in the ski resort. To do this, you want to go to the snow racetrack, which is found at the ski resort if you keep going right on the path. There, you will find a motorbike with special tires for the snow. You don't need a key to drive it, so you want to take it to the far upper right and complete the obstacle course to pop the balloon. Once you pop the balloon, the secret cache will be found towards the center of the area. At this point, teleport home and sleep. The storyline will trigger if you've been following the steps and stole the sawmill disguise. The next items can all be redeemed at the same time. The fishing pole, the flashlight, and the canoe paddle. These items are found in the raccoon shop. This is because for the next few pieces, you want to go to specific locations, so it doesn't really matter the order. But you need all those items. The fishing rod is used at the lake to catch fish. There's a bear by the campground lake that you need to feed fish to, and in exchange, he will distract bees so you can get a map piece. The flashlight is used when you go to the RV parks at the top of Campsite D. There is a pathway by a caution sign, and if you follow the path, you will find a cave. Once in the cave, use the flashlight and follow my movements. The first thing you need is the TNT. Then you backtrack so you can light the TNT up and find the map piece.
then backtrack some more to leave the cave. The next map piece is easy. In the low RV areas, you will find a duck who had their hat stolen by a human. So you will need to go to the top of the RV park. Change the radio for this man's RV and steal the hat and return it to duck. In exchange, the duck will give you a map piece. For the next map piece, we're going to use the canoe paddle. The canoe paddle allows you to go across the lake and enter into an area where you will find a maze. If you complete this maze using this pathway, then you will find another map piece. The final three map pieces I'm going to go over each require something unique. The reason I had you collect money is mainly because of the racetrack and the golfer. The racetrack map piece requires you to buy the red sports car and upgrade it at least once, but it's recommended you do it at least twice or it gets harder. Luckily, there are some extra ways to earn money I'm about to show you so you can fully upgrade your car. The first is by the podium where you will find a car that's locked, but you can just push it out of the way and get the money. The second way to make some quick coins is to do the Fox Mischief on the far left side of the racetrack parking lot. All you need to do is drive in circles. It's very simple. So after all of that, you can upgrade your car all the way and have plenty of extra coins. Go ahead and race the Pro Racer. You can find the Pro Racer to the right of the entrance to the racetrack. The other guy wants to give you his disguise if you beat all the races, which I will show you how to do in a different video. But for now, racing the Pro Racer should be pretty easy because you have your car fully upgraded. The next two map pieces go together. If it's been a few days in the game, then you will see the talking fish appear in the pond by your house. You want to fish him and take him to the golf course lake in exchange for a soggy map piece. Then go to the golf shop and purchase the most expensive golf club. Literally all the other ones are worthless. Then go ahead and compete against the pro golfer. Golfing revolves around you getting the least amount of points by taking the fewest hits to get a hole. So if you've never played Sneaky Sasquatch Golf, one thing to know is that a smaller circle when you hit means it's a more targeted point. Another thing to note is the ball will always bounce on the grass. So with that in mind, beat the pro golfer. After you beat the pro golfer, just teleport home and look at the map board. That will trigger the ending of the story, and from there you can find the treasure and get the honorary ranger disguise. However, you've only temporarily saved the park. Hey guys, if you found this useful, then consider subscribing and watching the video on the right for story two, or watching the video on the left for a walkthrough of every arcade game.